Hello friends, welcome back. In this section, we are going to discuss the difference between research design and research methodology. Many a times, the students get confused relating to the research design and research method. So, let us start. Research design is the conceptual structure within which research is conducted. It is a logical as well as systematic planning for doing the research. The term itself refers to entire process of planning and carrying out the research study. It is the process of visualization of the entire process of conducting empirical research before its commencement. So it is a blueprint of the proposed research. However, it is tentative because the researcher may not be able to foresee all the contingencies before actually doing the investigation. So, here the researcher is allowed to meet these contingencies when he encounters them in the research journey. Research design helps the researchers to identify in advance the kind of data which will be required for doing the research. That is, the means to collect them, the methods which will be used for analysis and interpretation of the data and the presentation of the findings with more accuracy. That's why the research design helps in minimizing the uncertainties, confusion and practical hazards associated with the research problems. It helps in enhancing the efficiency and reliability of the findings. The detailed outline of how an investigation will take place. So, the research design may typically include how the data will be collected and what instruments will be employed how the instruments will be used and intended means for analyzing the data collected. The research design refers to the overall strategy that the researcher choose to integrate the different components of the study in a coherent and logical way, thereby ensuring you will effectively address the research problem. Note that all the research problems determine the type of design which the researcher must use, not the other way around. The function of the design is to ensure that the evidence obtains enables the researcher to effectively address the problem in a logical manner and as unambiguous as possible. It is just like a recipe because when a recipe is seen, it provides the list of ingredients and the instructions for preparing the dish. So, the research design too provides the components and the plan for successfully carrying out the study. So, the research design is the backbone of the research protocol. The information collected during the research is only useful if the design is sound and follows the proper research protocol. The research studies are designed in a particular manner in order to increase the chances of collecting the information which is required to answer the particular question. The information which is collected during the research will not only be useful in the research design but it will also be helpful to follow the research protocol. That's why proper procedure and technique in the research helps the researcher to accurately reach the conclusion and the research protocol and the design is important because the results can be reproduced by other researchers by following the similar procedure. So the more often the results are reproduced the more likely is that the researcher and the public will accept the finding as true. There are certain elements of a research design such as the purpose of the study will define what the type of research design will be. For example, in the purpose, whether the research is exploratory, descriptive or explanatory and likewise the subclassification, whether it is analytical, whether it is evaluative, whether it is evaluative and likewise. Then the second concern or the second element of a research design is the unit of analysis that is the sample. What will be the sample size or what will be the sampling technique? Then the time dimension, whether the research will be cross-sectional or longitudinal. What will be the variables? 
For example, if the researcher attempts to control and manipulate the variables, then the X spec post facto design will be used because the investigators will have no control over the variables and the sense of being able to manipulate them. So, the report they can only report the actual results. The next element of research design is the mode of observation that is how the researcher is going to, to collect the sample whether by conducting survey, experiment, field observation or some other thing. Then what will be the sampling design, what tools of data collection will be used and what method of processing and analyzing data will be used? These all constitute a research design. The research methodology depends upon the methods of data collection which the researcher will be using. For example, there are basically three main sources of data collection that is primary, secondary and tertiary. So, the primary sources of data collection in a legal research includes constitution, national gazette, the acts which are published or passed by the parliament and state legislatures, the rules, regulations, statutory orders and directions or directives of administrative agencies and case reports that publish judicial pronouncements at different high courts. All these sources contain rich information about the identified problem and they are indispensable for any legal researcher. Hence, they are primary sources of data. The secondary sources of data include textbook, treatise, commentaries, statutes, abstracts, bibliographies, dictionaries, encyclopedias, indexes, reviews and theses. The Textbooks, legal treaties and commentaries constitute the significant secondary source of legal research because they offer the researcher a proper idea about the subject and enables him so that other useful source of information on the topic can be researched. They help the researcher to comprehend the basic principles and the judicial statements on the topic under inquiry. The abstracts are the brief statements of the contents of research articles published in periodicals and it provides a simplified key to relevant studies from the vast literature on the concerned subject. Bibliographies refers to list of books related to the topic. They contain the author's name, the title, the place of publication, publisher, year of publication an annotated bibliography provides a brief analysis of the content. The encyclopedia refers to the book information in the form of condensed article on every subject. It furnishes greater details on the subject than a dictionary and it provides meaning and historical background relating to concept and important theories on various subjects including laws. Finally, the tertiary sources includes the dictionaries, subject guides and union list. There are numerous scientific directories that provide list of journals, scientists, universities, etc. The list, their information quite like the telephone directory, which helps the researcher to tap appropriate journal and expert advice on the topic. The union list is the list of all journals that are available either in the given library or the libraries of the country. The list is for a particular library tells the journal about the journal, the library subscribes, the issue of these journals that are available and the missing volumes. They are invaluable in tracking down a journal. So if a journal which the researcher needs is not available in a particular library, the national list will help to locate the library or the place where the copy exists. Thank you.